welcome back to my channel. So I heard from my contractors yesterday and it sounds like they got quite a bit of work done. The electrical framing and my two serving windows are put in. So I'm going to head over there now so I can give you guys a full video update of their progress. Okay guys, so here is the van and I stand corrected. It looks like only one window was put in, but there'll be one um, there's one here and then there'll be another one right here and they will be my two serving windows and um, Now that I have some good lighting I can give you guys a good full tour of the outside so It's the extended length Mercedes 175 with the high roof And Let's check out the inside. Okay, so looks good. It looks like there's only framing done to one side. Let me get up here really quick. Okay, so looks like there's only framing and insulation done to one side. Um, I decided to have my contractor do the foam board insulation he wanted to do spray foam but i didn't think that that was a good idea with a food van i felt like this would be easier and uh cleaner i guess less mess i sent him videos that specifically showed him how i wanted to do the framing and that's why he has these two by fours or sorry two by twos here and they are secured with uh, L brackets. He put in this bulkhead wall for me and um, was thoughtful enough to put in a window. This is where the sink will go. My three compartment sink with the hand washing sink will go along this wall. My refrigerator will go here and then this will be my bar counter along this wall. Um, I'll be putting in where this is marked is where the AC unit is going to go. Although I will have to talk to my contractor because I believe this hole is too big. I believe he has that cut too big or marked off too big. Uh, the other window will go along here and this is the current window. I can link this below for you guys, but I'm just gonna check out the function. So, oh, yeah, that's easy. Yep, it just opens right up. That's so neat. I love it. There'll be a floating counter right here as well. So, um, not a floating counter, but a foldable counter I'll have along this wall here. And let's get this closed. Okay, and then for the back, the doors, I'm just gonna leave that open. I'm not gonna do anything with that. Uh, the electrical component. So I'm doing an outlet here. This is the wiring. I have no clue about anything electrical. I sent my electrician a video on how to do um, electrical for food trucks and he watched it and figured it out. So I have I have uh, three outlets, four outlets along this wall, it looks like he has, and my electrical box will go up here. I have one outlet, two, three. There's uh, one down here for my refrigerator. Um, I should have one on this wall for the water heater. And then, let's see, my van came with flooring already. So that was a plus. It had um, floors that I'm just keeping. Yeah, so that pretty much sums up the inside of the van and how well I'll be using it. If you guys have any questions or are curious of the videos that I watch to send to my contractors, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm using a general contractor, a contract, contractor that I've worked with for years, as well as the electrician. I couldn't find anyone in my area to that specialized in food trucks or food vans that was available at the time that I needed. 
this project completed by so I just went with my regular contractors and electrician and I instructed them on what to do based off of my own research um, which was really just a YouTube University so I could share those videos with you guys that is what got me started and um, they're pretty much just going based off of my um, and you know instructions and that's what we're doing so thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.